all of you aspiring top chefs, I'm going to break down Damar's winning dish so you can make it at home. Who knows, maybe you're the next top chef. This week's challenge, chefs were asked to make pre-game carb-loading meals to impress the judges. And the MVP tonight is... Damar. Damar came through with the W with this dirty farrow dish. This is a really great dish to make at home because it's a simple one-pot meal and it forces you to coax all the flavors out of these ingredients into this pot. I'm going to cook dirty farro, which is kind of an ode to dirty rice from mom used to make. Oh, I love that. You no, know, I'm trying to recreate a food memory from his mother, like, so no pressure. Yeah. I know with this physique, uh, you might think that, you know, I don't dabble with carbs, but you don't get this awesome dad bod by not loving carbs. <laughs> Time to get dirty, y'all. Get your Dutch oven on a medium heat. Add some butter. Preheat this oven to 350. What we have here is four chicken thighs that we've small diced. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Once our butter is nice and melted, we're gonna add in our diced chicken. Got some nice brown chicken here. We're gonna take it out. We're leaving some fat inside the pan. That is what is gonna help saute and caramelize those onions. You wanna give this a nice stir before it gets going because you want all that fat to kind of coat these onions so they cook evenly. <laughs> Color of the onions are great. Even, beautiful caramelization of all these onions. So I'll bring this down to a medium low. We're gonna take two stalks of celery, one small poblano pepper, and one green bell pepper. All small diced. I miss putting this jacket on and being competitive. I do, I wanna do it. I'm in like probably the Top Chef gra Grandpa uh, division. I don't know man, I miss it. Next, we're going to take three garlic cloves minced, one Fresno chili that's minced, and add it to our pot. I like spicy, so I'm adding the seeds to it. Give this a nice stir. We're gonna put a lid on top of it. So everything's cooking away. Next step, our spicy salami. And we're gonna dice it up and then add it to the pot. So we're going to render this so that you get it a little bit crispy, but more importantly, you render out some of that pork fat. Next, the farro. You need three cups of farro. You know, you add farro to a dry pan like this because you want to get some nuttiness. Once the farro is toasted, we're going to add back our chicken thighs, salt, pepper, and your favorite Cajun spice. So this is where you get to be liberal with your seasoning. Three cups of chicken stock. Bringing this up to a boil, we're gonna get it into our oven. So we have a half a cup of chicken livers and we're going to season it to make chicken liver taste really, really good especially if you grew up not liking it because it was like hammered. Your mom like cooked it for like two hours and you're like, yo. We're going to grab our dirty farro. We're gonna fold in our chicken livers here. This is really what makes dirty farro dirty. Back into the oven, it's like five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes are done. Big reveal, big reveal. Oh, so beautiful. Most important part of this dish is plating this with a wood spoon. This dish requires zero tweezers. Sorry, Voltaggio, sorry, Blaze. Uh, this is all about a wooden spoon and a pot. We're gonna garnish this with green scallions and celery leaves. That looks great, Tamar. So right off the bat, you get that creaminess of those chicken livers. You get that nice spice from that Fresno pepper. And then that beautiful chew of that farro. It's nice and chewy and nutty. And I think you really taste the sweetness of those caramelized onions. Damar, I hope I did you some justice and made you proud. Really, this is probably round one. You're probably gonna hit it again.